here. So here is the water returning back from the soil system that I have in aquaponics. It returns back to this sump and there's a constant pump in there that is feeding the catfish tank. This is our catfish IBC. Water is fed in here and overflows out from a slow drain, which you can see here, out to our three media beds that operate on a bell siphon. Now look at the growth here. Since this constant water coming in, look at the growth compared to what was outside in the soil system. That's just the action of the availability of nutrients constantly to the plants. Not saying that the soil in aquaponics isn't going to do well. It'll do phenomenal. It just won't be as fast unless it's helped along with either a little bit more water or either from the top, which I don't want to do, or some extra mineral salts. Now I'm going to walk through the rest of phase two. Here's a sump for another section. And here is another wicking system. Here we put rocks in instead of just having pure water. We're going to stop the algae. And we have our various plants, tomatoes and so on. Great, you can see these are hailing tomatoes. Just look at the beauty. And what a what a wonderful sight to welcome me. I removed the cranberry hibiscus outside, as you saw. We have papaya, we have plum tree in here. The overflow here is from the various fish tanks. And this also acts as a filter for the fish, because they also run like a slow drain. So you can see here the filter, the material, the good stuff that it breaks down biologically and returns clean water back from our sump. On the opposite side again is a shallow water culture where we also, we don't have rocks but they're just floating on the styrofoams and some tomatoes actually grew out of the styrofoams in the permaculture style where I didn't pick the seeds. And I am just amazed at the growth that we're experiencing. I love tomatoes and these are all Halem tomatoes, different versions different varieties just marvelous in December a little jungle got to thin out a little I guess out here I just haven't thinned it out but you know I'd be happy to see how we end up doing I removed some of the towers oh, by the way here's the shallow culture on the top so you can see we have excellent kale it's done. There's a Russian kale, there's a curly kale. Plus, I'm gonna show some of the plants we planted on top. And they're starting to do pretty well, as you can see. Very nice. Just trying to make use of all the space. Here we have the towers, the strawberry towers. And we have strawberries, hopefully, will start to come. We've got the flowers coming in. I've planted some cilantro. We've removed the big okras that we had and we got a some of the media beds. We cut some of the okras off and we're starting to put little branches at the bottom, see what they will do. Another shallow culture hydroponic tray that we have to start a plant base for us. Yeah, I, I think so. Part of it, I think personally, is you have to have some land. Here's our fish tanks. Going, you can see an abundance of water, oxygen that we try and get. Here's another fish tank. This is our. Why do you think? Why do people buy tilapia? Sprite. Mm -hmm. Not because it's healthy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Because it's a lot of sugar and caffeine and oh, this is sage. I'm awesome if I do it. Or I buy this car and it takes me this person. And now. Just showing you a glimpse of another area that I'm going to do. Phase 3.
Yeah, but they're... God bless.